navigating unfamiliar waters, understanding out of one's depth. Hello, everyone, welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into a very interesting English phrase, out of one's depth. This expression is quite vivid and can be incredibly useful in various contexts. So, if you're ready to expand your English vocabulary and sound more like a native speaker, you're in the right place. Let's get started. Out of one's depth refers to a situation where someone feels overwhelmed or unable to cope due to a lack of knowledge, experience, or skills in a particular area. Imagine swimming in a pool and suddenly finding yourself in a part where your feet can't touch the bottom. You might start to panic because the water is too deep. Similarly, when you're out of your depth, you're in a situation that feels too challenging or complex for you to handle comfortably. To bring this phrase to life, let's look at some examples. At work, if you're given a project that requires skills you haven't developed yet, you might say, I'm really out of my depth with this assignment. In school, when studying a subject that is much harder than anything you've encountered before, you might express feeling out of my depth in this class. In social situations, trying to follow a conversation about a topic you know nothing about can also make you feel out of your depth. These examples show how the phrase can be used in various scenarios to express feelings of being overwhelmed or underprepared. When using out of one's depth, it's important to understand the context. This phrase is very versatile and can be used in both formal and informal settings. However, it's crucial to gauge the situation to decide if expressing vulnerability or uncertainty is appropriate. Here's a tip. Pairing this phrase with a request for help or clarification can be a great way to show humility and eagerness to learn. For example, I'm a bit out of my depth with this project. Could you explain this concept to me? That's all for today's lesson on the phrase, out of one's depth. We hope you now feel more comfortable using this expression in your conversations and writings. Remember, Feeling out of your depth is a natural part of learning and growth. Don't be afraid to use this phrase to communicate your feelings and ask for the support you need. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Happy learning!